What's going on, everybody? So we're back here, and uh, I got to talk about the new events that dropped after the banner dropped. When I made that video, the Hero Evolution event was not out. Um, the random new events, I forgot what this is called, the Quantum Mimic Machine and the Astral Order. All of these were new right after, a couple days after that uh, event dropped, which is super, super important because it changes the landscape of how you want to go about this, okay? It, it really changes the whole landscape. So the reason why this is so important is because with the Astral Order event, we can actually get a free copy of Masrani. And then on top of that, we can actually, actually get a bunch of limited summons. And then in combination with the Hero Evolution event, we can get another free copy if we play it right. Now, keep in mind, I'm going to be judging this from a free-to-play player's perspective because that's what I am. If you are a whale, just go for it. <laughs> just just get them right um but uh, let's go ahead and just figure this out and what's going on right now so as i mentioned the astral order event is out and going strong the basic premise of this one is you're just going to go ahead and go through here click claim quest there's three claims per day um you can only do three by this little exclamation point and then you could do them at any point uh so like for example this one's forge equipment this one is upgrade a commander. Uh, this one's complete one limited summon, three advanced summons, 10 basic summons. I basically have just sat here, claimed it, and I haven't really done any of the quests yet because a lot of it's requiring me to summon and I wanted to maybe do that for a video later on, so I haven't really prioritized that. So just claim them. Make sure you do the three claims per day. You can see we have nine days to do this, which is plenty of time, but we do want to get that Masrani copy as well as the 15 limited summons before the event is over um for example for many of you uh we want to go ahead and grab these two before the hero evolution event is over which is in four days four days um this is where it gets a little bit more complicated because we have four days until that's over but we have nine days until this event's over so we're gonna want to prioritize absolutely this uh Mizrani row and the limited summon row so make sure you're doing that. I personally recommend you going for limited summon first because the banner will end sooner before the Mizrani will event will end. And then go for the Mizrani because you can combo that with the hero evolution. Um, on top of that, we have the quantum mimic. This is a very simplistic one. You get your three little cubes here um, by doing your random things throughout the area, the dungeons, the wasteland, the guild hunt. You're gonna use them and you either get something or you don't. And you just hit this collect button, it's over, right? Uh, but there is a Ravenna in here, which would be pretty cool to get. But honestly, I'd be more excited about getting the fifth element. I think this is super, super good, um, especially in a lot of different scenarios, comboed with that specific commander. I forgot the name that scales off of attack speed. But just getting a mythic level um, divine prototype is a massive power boost overall to your characters. So super, super big one there. We still have the recruitment event active. Um, you're going to want to get to 150 subins so you can get that free Serena. But let's talk about how we're able to go ahead and get the free Mezrani from um, the Hero Evolution as a free-to-play player. So I figured I'd do this one a little bit earlier than the one I did Emma in. If you saw that video, I basically showed you how to get four copies free-to-play. Um, not that you don't have to spend any resources, but that you can get it free-to-play as long as you manage your resources properly. So first thing I'm going to assume here, guys, is that most of you spent your chips on the double chip event. Okay, uh, that's what I recommended everyone to do. And if you honestly, if you weren't playing during the double chip event, you may not be able to go ahead and get a free uh, Mesrani copy because you may just not have had enough time in the game. But if you spent some chips on double chip and then you had enough chips to go for a pity here um, on Mesrani, and it looks like the game for us, I'll be right back, that you should be able to go ahead and summon enough copies to actually acquire them. As I mentioned, you have some chips left over and you're going to be able to go to pity on Mesrani. You can see here I'm 40 of 60, so I'm a little bit further away. Uh, I currently have zero copies, zero copies of Mizrani. Uh, so I'm going to be doing this from scratch. I'm going to walk you through the process here, what I'm going to do in order to, for you to get the four free-to-play copies of Ezrani. So first things first, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and really look at the evolutions because we need a certain amount of evolutions in order for us to go ahead and get that free copy. How many do we need? If we jump over to the event again, whoops, wrong tab. Uh, we jump over to the events. We can see the astral order. We're going to get one there, but the hero evolution is what we're looking at. We need to go to mythic one. How many copies do we need for mythic one? We are going to need 
I keep clicking on these other things. One, two for the base copy, three, four. We're gonna need four copies to reach Mythic One. Um, three dupes and then one base copy. Now, we're gonna be able to get one free one from the event Astral Order. So that's one, that's our first copy, okay? After we get that first copy, what can we do? Well, we can actually get a second copy from Pity, right? That's two. So we got two copies there already. Pretty nice. And then this is where you're going to have to take advantage of the double chip event. And to be honest, this is exactly when you're going to want to do this. I would not recommend waiting longer because we don't know if the events will be as good as these events. From what I've understood is after the first four weeks, the events are not lackluster, but they're not as quite exciting as the ones right now. So we have our two copies. How do we get two more copies? If you're lucky, you can go ahead and pick one up while you're summoning. If you're gonna be like me and you're gonna assume that you aren't going to get any, well, you've summoned 60 for this character, which means you have 60 chips, and hopefully you would have spent about 50 chips and saved for the gene hybrids. Um, Hopefully you can get 50 chips or, or enough chips to pick up the two gene hybrids that are going to be coming out. You can see I have 200 chips saved up. Hopefully you guys have a little bit of chips saved up. If you have been managing your resources quite carefully and you haven't been spending on these 120, I highly don't recommend that you spend these on the 120 characters unless it's a copy of a character you don't own at all. Because you should just wait until the weekends to spend your uh, on the G, uh, chips on the gene, gene hybrid. So... You're going to get the free copy. You're going to get the 60 pity for Mezrani. That's two. And then you're going to get two new gene hybrids from the limited banner. Um, as far as I know, you should be able to get two new gene hybrids from both of the new banners that swap over the next week, which happens in a few days from now. Now, I'm not 100% sure if they're going to get two banners. We have gotten two banners the entire time. And you can see here, um, this banner ends in two days. This banner ends in three days, whereas this hero evolution event ends in four days so we should have a day of kind of that you know kind of i guess waiting period so we can pick up one gene hybrid two gene hybrids which will give us the four copies to reach that fifth free copy but the tricky part about this is are you going to have enough limited summons and are they going to add an additional limited banner i don't know but if they don't, and they only add two limited or one more limited banner, we're only going to get one refresh of the gene hybrid. So that means you're going to be forced to spend on a copy of Mezrani. Now, I think this is absolutely worth it because you're going to, when you buy this, you're basically getting a gene hybrid 50% discounted because by buying this, you're going to get another free copy, which is essentially like buying two gene hybrids. And Mezrani is 100% worth it. Now, one thing to note here uh, is that if you were lucky and you happen to get enough gene hybrid shards from the previous Rise of Heroes events and you had not spent it, you could use that, which would be a really nice feature or a really nice bonus. So once again, a little bit of a recap here at the end of the video, uh, how to get this free to play. You're gonna go through here, you're gonna do your Astral Order, get your first copy, boom. Second copy is gonna come from the 60 Pity right here. Second copy, so 60 summons minimum. The third and fourth copy have to come from your resources that you presumably have been saving up from the um, banners previously, double chip banners. If you're like me and you've spent everything, meaning you've spent all your limited summons, you've purchased all the gene hybrids and you've used them all, you should be in a similar position as I am, which again, I'm completely free to play here. You should be able to go ahead and cash in on two gene hybrids over the next couple days to pick up the two remaining copies. By getting those four copies, we're going to get a fifth free copy from the Hero Evolution event. Not only that, but you can also pick up five more limited recruitments, which might bring you over to the edge to get that last copy. So hopefully that gives you an idea here, guys. This is the prime time to spend your gene hybrids, in my opinion. Double chip banners are gonna be the perfect time to summon because you're gonna get those chips. Evolving is either if you want to progress or take advantage of the Hero Evolution events to get those free copies. Hopefully that makes sense, guys. Um, I know some people might be out of resources if you've spent a little bit extra, um, and that is just the way it is. If you're free to play, I will tell you now, the best bet is to save all of your resources 
for each new event that pops up and to see if there's anything different with the event before you go and spend it. Especially, especially if your characters are already immortal. The only exception I would make for myself is if I can bring Emma over to immortal, I probably would have done it, but I did not get lucky enough with another Emma copy um, or another gene hybrid or anything like that. And I didn't purchase another copy, right? I, I'm not going to spend the 120 chips on a Emma copy. I'm going to wait until it's cheaper. And I highly suggest you all do the same. So hopefully you free to play players out there. If you've been lucky enough and, and you've been grinding out the ancient altar, if you've been grinding out the Thanksgiving event, if you've been grinding out all this type of stuff, you'll have enough summons to go ahead and cash in on this event for the free copy. We're getting two free copies of Mizrani if, if you follow this strategy and you're totally going to get five copies of Mizrani at the end of the day, which is going to be a really good feeling. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed. I've been really enjoying these events. I think they do a great job of giving us so many free Triple S characters. Um, it's super, super amazing. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you're going to be able to have enough resources to get the five copies total and the two free copies that the game gives you if you're able to reach those five copies or rather four copies. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.